This video presents HATP, an HTN planner developed at La CNRS France starting eight years ago. HATP stands for Hierarchical Agent Based Task Planner and is constantly evolving with experience from years of practical use. Its top level planning algorithm is based on SHOP but adapted for multi robot and human robot interactions. The goal of this video is to present the four main features of HATP. One of the main features of HTTP is the multi-agent capabilities. HTTP reasons about the agents involved in the problem by allocating the actions to the different agents and allows them to work in parallel. The actions of a solution plan are split into several streams of actions, each one corresponding to an agent. Some actions can involve several agents working together and are called joint actions. To synchronize the different streams and ensure the plan consistency, causal links are created. In this first example, the dock worker robot example, a robot R1 has to carry the containers C1 and C2, respectively to the places P21 and P22. The resulting plan is split into streams, yellow actions for the first crane, K1, green for the second crane, K2, and blue for the robot R1. The grey action corresponds to joint actions, where several agents have to cooperate. The violet arrows are causal links, and together with the joint actions, they are the synchronization mechanisms. The first action to carry out is for the crane K1 to take container C1, then it can load the container on the robot R1. It goes on from the left of the diagram to the right, however, when two actions are represented in parallel, they can be achieved in parallel. The actions that have several causal links pointing at them must, of course, wait for the completion of all their predecessors. In this other example, the PR2 robot must make the three objects accessible to the human. This example illustrates how the robot takes into account what it thinks the human can reach. HTTP models the knowledge of each agent and what they think the others know. In this first execution, the orange box breaks the reachability to the red cube so HTTP backtracks and tries to find another execution. In this other execution, at the end, all objects can be accessed by the human as expected. The goal is reached. To describe the planning domains and problems, HTTP uses a custom language which aims at being user-friendly and facilitates development and maintenance. It is greatly inspired by object-oriented languages and structured programming. It has many usual functionalities like conditionals, typing, structures, and so on. To share the conciseness with such languages, it is based on the state variable representation. It allows to define new types for both agents and entities or objects, and their members can be either atomic values or sets of values. It is indeed possible to manipulate sets, both in the preconditions and effects of actions. This type of syntactic sugar gives a language that is usable and concise but that still offers control over planning for the main experts. Even if HTTP has a user-friendly language, it still allows an expert from having better control over planning. In a domain, it is possible to let some variables free, which means HTTP will have to find their best value while planning. Usually, HTTP picks variable bindings arbitrarily, resulting in all bindings being tried in the worst case. When possible, the domain writer can improve this by making use of certain HTTP constructs to help guide the search towards bindings that seem more promising. The first construct is to sort the values according to a given function, like sort by in shop to planner. The other construct denotes that only the first value matters, which is very useful for recursive methods, for example to prevent combinatorial explosion. This mechanism helps an expert to give HTTP direction toward the best solution. HTTP has been integrated in the ROS framework, allowing it to work with various ROS modules. To run HTTP is simple. First, you have to tell it which domain file to use. HTTP then compiles it. When done, HTTP can be started, and it will then wait for planning requests. We provide a tool called HTTP Tester to send such requests in a user-friendly manner. As soon as HTTP finds a solution, the best plan found and some search statistics are displayed in this HTTP module called HTTP Console. The bottom right panel has tabs to display the plan in different forms, for example as a decomposition tree or as agent streams as shown here. All those tools are ROS nodes and are open source. Through the years, HTTP has been used on many various domains, from multi-UAVs to tabletop manipulations. Thanks for your time and attention.